Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Today we have a Team You Craft haul to show you. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Please do hit that subscribe button. It really does help our channel to grow. We have lots of Team You Craft hauls as well as lots of other craft hauls in general on our channel. Um, I did want to just apologise. It's been a while since I've posted. I say a while, I think it was last weekend. Um, life's just kind of run away with me at the minute with Noah being on annual uh, school holiday. I'm back at work now. I've been away with work. Then I recorded a video and it turns out my microphone wasn't working. So halfway through there's just no sound. So I need to go back and do a voiceover for it and I just haven't got around to it yet. But my team you haul has arrived and i really wanted to share with you what i picked up this time it's quite a big team you haul i am planning on showing you it all on this video however there are 72 items in this bag um so if i feel like the video is just taking too long we may have to split it but if we do that the next video will follow quite quickly I am just going to start off by bringing you a little bit closer while we grab some of these bits and pieces out. Now, it was quite a big haul, but it was quite a decent price. So, I picked up 72 items in this haul. Oh, we've got quite a bit of a um, reflection there from the sunshine. We don't see it very often, do we, here? Let me just turn my blinds. There we go. That's a bit better. Um, yes, 72 items. Um, I had quite a bit of money off of this. So I had a £30 off discount um, for any orders £100 or more. And from my last couple of craft hauls, I'd actually gained a credit of just over £12. So I did get 42, just over £42 off this order. So it did make my order for 72 items just over £72. So I'm going to tell you the price as they are listed on Team U at the time of me purchasing them. But by the time I'd actually had all of my discounts, these all came down to about a pound piece, which I'm really impressed with. I'll pop a link in the description box into my orders so that you can go and have a look. But please be aware, I am in the UK, so it will be a UK link. Um, let's get started. So, the first two bits that I've picked out are these sequin bags. I've started picking up some sequins to be able to put in my shaker cards. And I saw these blue ones. They're just 89 pence for 1,500 pieces. Thought that was quite a nice blue it's a blue that you can use all year round so it would work in your christmas cards but would also work in like your summer cards as well so for less than a pound i thought that was worth picking up and then i really liked this mix i thought this looks like such a fun summer mix those colors go really nicely together and i'm pretty sure i've got a couple of like hunky dory kits that would work really well with this colorway so this was 98 pence, um, again, well worth it. <clears throat> then, yes. um, I have two of these. Now, I think I already have these. It's been a while since I bought them. I'm not even 100% sure where I've put them. They looked different on the pictures, but when they've come, they look very similar to um, some that I've already picked up. They are packs of paper you get um the paper in vellum and in just normal paper designs they were one pound 51 each just trying to see if i can work out how many sheets there are 15 so we have the retro window and the sonic let's have a quick look at these if I remember rightly they are very beautiful i just haven't used them So this is the retro window. So it does have foiling. They are really nice. There's some quotes and things on here. Those ones are silver. We've then got this gold foiling. And then we've got them in the like vellum. Really nice. I do like these. 
And then these ones are the Sonnet. Pretty sure last time I bought them I got more than just the two. So maybe in my head I knew I'd already got them. But they are pretty. And then there's the vellum. Really nice. I do like those. Put that over there. And then I picked up some of these silver rhinestones. I've been using quite a few, mainly gold to be honest, but I have been using some of the silver studs that Hunky Dory sell. And I noticed that Team U had these ones. Now they don't have any adhesive on the back, but I thought I'd give them a go anyway. They're only 67 pence for 200 pieces. They're in different sizes. They look okay, but I have noticed on some of them that the um, like silver coating has been scratched off um, so that one in particular look has very little like there's quite a big scratch there of black so I'm not sure how many of these I'm going to actually be able to use <clears throat> but if any are really bad they'll probably work in my shaker cards anyway so we'll give them a go but I don't think I'll buy those again personal um, preference but I just don't think I will then I picked up quite a few of these. Alice's Illusion. I've got six of them in different colourways. They are, let's have a look. Can't actually see a number of how many sheets you're going to get. They are 100 millimetres by 140 millimetres. So they're 10 centimetres by 14 centimetres. Um, we have a purple dream, rose into the night, blue castle, shiny black, green forest, and dream crystal. They were all £1.88 each. So let's take a look at these. Mm, they are on what I call teamy paper. So by teamy paper, I mean that paper that's got like a little bit of a texture to it. So it looks you, like you get two of each. I mean, they're very pretty. They are very pretty. They're just, they're on that textured teamy paper. Apologies if you can hear any noise in the background. My little boy is stood behind my door. Um, it's quite a bit in here, you know. They're very, very nice. They don't look like they've been zoomed in. Sometimes I find with the teamy bits, it it looks unclear, almost like it's a smaller image that has been zoomed in on to fit that particular paper. But this doesn't look like that. They're quite nice. Oh, look at that swan. And then that is the last one. So we have that, which was... Oh, it's on the other wrapper. That one was the Dream Crystal. Then this one is the Green Forest. Just show you on the back there what you're going to get as well. It's always nice to have a proper look at them. Those. Mm. This one's quite dark. It is very green, but it's quite dark green look. I think I preferred the other one. The other one was paler. We've got some nice pale pictures here. But there is quite a bit of darker imagery in this one.
That one's nice. That one's quite bright. Oh, I love the train. That train is good. Oh, those shoes are pretty too. I've got that swan again, look. The castle. There we go. Very nice. Then we have the shiny black. Now this one I am expecting to be quite dark. You get 50. Why? Did, how did I not see that? You get 50. For those that are screaming at the uh, camera, at uh, the telly right now. So you get 25 different designs, two of each, and you get 50 in total sheets. So this is the shiny black. Oh, we've got the black swan there, look. Yep, very dark. They're still really pretty. That's quite bright, actually. We do have some light images in here. I think I still prefer this one to the green one. I don't know what it is about the green one, but I think because it was quite dark, but unexpectedly dark. If that makes sense. Look at that butterfly. Yep, I do like these. And there is that one. Then we have the blue castle. This looks nice and light. This is back to being more my sort of colourway, I think. Yeah, look at these. I love these blues. Blue is definitely a favourite colour of mine. Now, very pretty. Eyes again, look. Yep, I like this one. We've still got some darker images, but not as many. Look at that. Can you imagine that with like a fairy silhouette or something on. Beautiful, that's beautiful as well. Yep, really like these. Another butterfly, look. The car, very pretty. <clears throat> then we have the Rose into the Night. Oh, Quite autumnal feels this one i feel like it should be more pale pink but there's such dark rich pinks in this rich pinks and reds that this is definitely a bit more autumny i think it's the richness that you're getting isn't it Oh, I love that. Beautiful. Now, that one's not quite such a clear image. That one does look a little bit like it's a zoomed in one. The only one I've really noticed. But that one definitely looked zoomed in. And then we have the Purple Dream. That's so pretty. That one is nice and bright again. We've got the dark purples. Look at these. These are fantastic. So pretty looking.
apologies for the noise. You, it may not even be picking up on the microphone, I'm not sure. Oh, look at that. That beautiful. That butterfly is beautiful. Stunning. I do really like these. Hmm, very pretty indeed. Especially some of these paler ones. I can see me being able to use these quite easily on my cards. The darker ones, maybe not so much. But those ones, absolutely. So that is them. <clears throat> then, what else do we have in here? I have gone a little over the top with my washi tape and annoyingly they've put them all in these bags um, they don't well the previous boxes of washi tape i've had haven't been put in those types of bags i think that's all of them these have all been put in them um <clears throat> most of them are all the same price because they were all from the same listing all of these ones here definitely were. This was an oddball one. And this was one where I'd placed my order in with TeamU. And then it comes up and says, you can buy these with a one click. And uh, this came up as one of those one click ones. And it was a pack of five washi tape. And it was down to just 33 pence. So I kind of couldn't say no at that, could I? I'd have been silly to have done um, do I need more washi tape? No, absolutely not. Did I want more washi tape? Yes. Um, hopefully opening that over there makes it a little less noisy. But this is the Spring Flower Romantic Series. You get five two metre rolls of 10 millimetre or one centimetre width washi tape. And to be honest, I thought it was a bit of a risk purchasing at 33 pence, but we got, we got to live a little, haven't we? To be fair, I haven't really been disappointed with the team use washi tape before. So we have this one, quite a beautiful, delicate floral to it. We have this one. It's got a darker floral, still very nice. Then we have this one. I do like to double check them because, again, similar to the papers, I have had some washi tape where the image appears to be almost like a zoomed in, like just not nice image on it. I've ended up not really using those washi tapes. But so far, these appear nice and clear. And then we have this one. I think they're really good for 33p. They're a bargain. Yeah, I like those. So that is that box. Then the rest of these, I believe, came from the same listing. So. Let's just get into them, and I apologise for the noise. So this one is exactly the same, so it's five 2 metre rolls, 10 millimetres wide. This is the Past Life series, um, and this one is Dead Water. That's a really good name, isn't it? Uh, all of these were £1.03, so they were quite a bit more than the 33 pence bargain, but... I still don't think for one for bait, for essentially like a pound that they're bad when you get in twenty uh, when you get in five rolls it only makes them twenty pence each which I think is quite good so we have that one and I'll take all of these off these rolls and I'll put them on my normal um, cards to help me store them easier. Because I just don't have the room to store them while they're on the rolls. This one's got a very autumnal feel to it. 
I like it. How'd you find the end? We have that one. Make sure my uh, camera focuses as well. And then... We have that one. So that is the dead water box. Then this, oh, oh no, that's not, that's different, which is different. Uh, so this is the past life series, the past. Um, again, five two meter rolls. Uh, this is apparently also dead, dead water. These are all dead water. They all say dead water, but they're not. They've all got different codes. So I can't tell you the colourways, I'm afraid, on these because they're all the same, apparently, but with different end codes on them. So you may just have to look at the pictures that they provide. So in this box, we have this one. We have this one. We have that one. This one, that one's pretty. That one's pretty. It reminds me of a paper pad that I've got where it was that sort of flowers with the blue, but I think it got more pinks in it. From, I want to say, uh, Paper Boutique maybe, but we've got that one as well. So yes, very nice. Then the next one. Oh, one out. Exactly the same, just some different ones. So let's see what's in here. So we have that one. That one. That one. I like the fact a lot of these are gender neutral. There's lots of greys and browns and ones that you could use on quite a few different cards, which is nice. And then this one. Then, oh no, 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 just caught you. Then we have this box. Bear, they don't need to go back in the box because I'm going to take them off. But this one has this one in. one this one it's quite pretty i like that one that'd be quite nice on a thicker um washi tape as well wouldn't it we have that one And we have that one. So again, a really nice collection of washi tape. Next box. Ooh. So... That's nice, that's pretty. Then we have this one. I don't know what they're shouting about, but they're playing. We have this one. Mm. 
this one and then finally this one I'm trying to go through these as quick as I can you have that one then <clears throat> Ooh, this one has a pink one in. <gasps> that pink one. This one looks a bit retro. Look at this. <gasps> Look at that one. That's a fun one, that one is. Not sure what I'd use it on, but it looks fun. Put that in. Then we have this one. Then we have this one. We have this one. That's such a pretty pink. Although it's not quite as pink once you unravel it, to be fair. And then that's just a stripy one. We can see what that one looks like, can't we? <clears throat> then we have this pack. So I might just not open them if we can see the pattern. See, that's got that pattern on it. This one has that pattern on. This one has that pattern on. I've got a feeling we're seeing um, some of that bottom pattern come through there. We have this. It's got like stars on, I guess. And then we have this one. And we have this box so in here we've got this uh, blue with the white spots we have this one we have this one and that one so there's lots of different ones in here mushed uh so we have that one that one's nice really like that one with the little flowers on that one that one and i think i've just got one more of these which is good want that one one that one that one and that one i think they're really nice for just one pound a box for a box of five i think they're quite good value put those over there for now and then i have a die this is a like house silhouette die i really wanted it to use on some of my christmas cards i think it looks quite nice it was £1.90 for this, um, but you get quite a few houses there and you'll be able to snip some of these elements off so that they are an element on their own. And the nice thing about this is it's one of the dies with the non-cutting edge. So you can cut this into the top of some cardstock and leave the bottom part on without it cutting off. Um, so yeah, £1.90. I thought that was quite a good, good value. Then I picked up a few embossing folders, and there's one of these. I don't know. I, I don't know what I was thinking when I picked it up. My only thought process is that after the uh, thirty pound off and then my refunds, it made it just a pound. But we have this gorgeous butterfly embossing folder. I've really started getting into embossing a little bit more, and I really liked this butterfly. It was only one pound sixty. I thought that was a good value. Then I have this. It's just like a stitched square diamond shape. I thought it was such a generic pattern that can be used for both, um, for basically unisex cards. Like I can use it for any card I make, really. It was only $1.91. So again, I thought that was quite good value. Then I picked up this gorgeous, like, um, 
beehive honeycomb with the bees sort of design i've got a few bee themed papers and i don't really gravitate to them as much as i probably should but i thought this might help me it was only one pound 98 so again i thought this was really good and then this one <clears throat> i have no idea what i was thinking and it's come and i don't know if i like it i may consider sending it back um this embossing folder was £4.66. I cannot believe it. And it's huge, but on the how thick it is. So bearing in mind, this is the thickness of the other embossing folders. That's how thick this embossing folder is. Like it's nearly twice the thickness of the first embossing folder. It's really heavy as well. I picked it up. I know why I picked it up. It's because it is like tool themed. So I thought it would be really good for masculine cards, for those cards that have the building and like DIY type style toppers and things on there. So I know why I picked it up. Um, I'm just, I don't know. It's just so thick, so thick. Um, it should be fine if I can't get it going through my machine. I've got my Toddo, which I can adjust the thickness on. But I don't think I own another um, embossing folder that is as thick as that. So I'm just hoping that I can get it through. And I think for £4.66, that's actually quite a lot of money for what it is. So I wouldn't buy it again. Um, then I picked up a few stamps. Not a lot. Uh, oh, here it is. So I picked up a set of Christmas sentiments. This was one pound eighty eight, and we've got um, warm wishes, Christmas hugs, hugs, kisses, and mistletoe wishes. Sending you big hugs and warm wishes this holiday season for from me to you. Um, from the hugs department, like there's so many little sentiments in there i thought that that was really good value yeah one pound eighty eight can't go wrong then i saw these they're like little background stamps so we've got the moon with the stars we've got the silhouetted trees and then we've got the um like bear trees here we've got a couple of sentiments and we've got some more stars so they are all individual so you can layer them up how you want and it was only £1.68, so I thought that was pretty good. And then this one was only 98 pence, so even better. This is a set of like black silhouette plants. And we've got some like butterflies and dragonflies. But I thought they'd be really nice to build up some scenery. Um, because I can do these in whatever colour I want, whether I do them in the black and as a silhouette, or whether I do them in like the greens and things. But I just thought for less than a pound can't go wrong they're all individual stamps so they're really good then i picked up five yes five of these reindeer dies um yes i did mean to pick five up this wasn't a mistake which i've done in the past but i already have one of these anyway and i've seen it's actually on team you when they advertise this particular die they advertise a type of card where they have some that are white card bases and some that are craft card bases. And then they have a reindeer that's been die cut with this die on them that's the opposite. So on the white card bases, there's a craft card reindeer. And on the craft cards, there's a white card reindeer. And then they use, I thought about using maybe my gold studs or something for his little nose. So I really want to make a load of those in little four by fours and I'm planning on putting them as packs to sell at like my craft fairs and markets and things. But with only one die, it would take me forever to make a load of these reindeers. So I thought if I get five more, that'll give me six. I can die cut them a lot faster because I'll be doing six at a time instead of only one. They're only 86 pence. Um so i thought do you know what for 86 pence each i'll just pick up a few more and then i can crack on with making those cards <clears throat> and then i have some pet stickers um 
I've had quite a few PET stickers. When I first bought them, I bought them because they were pretty, never really used them, they sat in a drawer and that was it. But I have started to use more of my PET stickers and I've nearly run out of some of the flower ones that I had from a project I was working on. So I was on the lookout for some more. Uh, these are all the same price thing. Yeah, so they're all £1.38. You get 10 stickers in here. And they've got, and I've had some like this before, they've got like a, a foiling on them, a holographic foiling. So we have Silent Oath, Rotten Heart. I mean, they're not nice names, are they? Uh, Fool's Fantasy. Fragrance Between Fingers, Dreaming Thoughts, and Infatuation. So let's have a look at these. So we've got 10, all with the beautiful foiling on. They're beautiful. They are absolutely going to top me up, replenish me from the ones that I've used. Not had these ones, I was on the lookout for something slightly different, but still the big PET stickers. I know you only get 10, but um, I do only put one on per card. Generally, sometimes I put two on my larger cards, but then I can charge more for my larger cards. So... I'm quite happy with the price for these, especially with that foiling. Like it just adds something a little bit more, doesn't it? Not just your plain PET sticker. We've got this one. Get them out, can't get them out. Oh my goodness, there we go. These are beautiful. Look at the deep oranges on these. I think they're gorgeous. And just look at the size, like they're all that sort of size. So use these on like a four by four on their own. They would work on a five by five. Put a couple of them on, and you've got yourself a really nice six by six. Um if you I mean I I make mine for use mine for card making it's a really nice blue I do like this blue and we've got the yellow ones That one's been bent over. Let's see if we can rescue it. See how that goes. I've put it back down. They're still so pretty. So, so pretty. These little black, look at these, they're almost monochrome really, black and white and grey. They are so nice. Um, I am going to leave it there for today because we are nearly at 40 minutes already. And there's still a decent amount to show you left in my bag. So I'm going to break it up because I find that if I make my videos too long, people just don't stick around and watch it and then they miss out on some of the goodies. So um, thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope you have enjoyed it. If there's anything in here that you um, want to go and have a look at purchasing, I'll pop a link in, my, in the description box to this particular order. It will be one solid order, so it will include all the bits that I'm going to put on the second video, so the Team U Part 2. I'll get the Team U Part 2 done as well and uploaded as soon as I can. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, a wonderful rest of your week, and happy crafting!